hello guys welcome to the last video of this section in this video in this lecture we are going to see how we can use the options like pattern and the mirror we are going to see how we can use these two options or these two operations in the grid. okay as usually we go on to the select any plane and sketch over it right uh for simplicity we are going to take the rectangle and extrude it okay now we have finished uh, extruding the uh, rectangle we shall see uh, we shall see how does the uh, pair mirroring option works for that we need to Usually mirror, mirroring, what is the basic definition for mirroring? It is very simple that it creates the, it creates a duplicate of the object which is in front of the mirror. So if we, if we face our face on the mirror, a duplicate will be created on the mirror. Similarly, now uh, in that case, the mirror, the surface of the mirror acts as the axis. It separates our original as well as the duplicate face similarly in this method also uh, our uh, any one of the part will be the original one so we if we wish to replicate it or duplicate it we need to specify the axis uh, to be particular we need to specify the plane which separates the original one and the duplicate one so uh, to perform this operation we need a we need a part 3d part and we need a plane which separates these two original and the duplicate one in this case we have completed drawing the 3d part so if uh, if, we, if i need to replicate that replicate this created uh, 3d part over my left side into the right side over here i need to, uh, i need to place a plane in this in this surface in this surface of the cuboid but if you see this object has three planes here it is the vertical and here it is the uh, perpendicular one and uh, below it i'm having uh, another one third perpendicular plane but i am not having a plane over this surface so I need to append this vertical plane over here. So I need to I need to create a new plane, which or I need to move this plane over this over the uh, corner of the uh, surface in order to complete the mirroring operation. For that, you select the plane which you need to move and click on the plane option. Okay, now you see uh the arrow mark of the plane uh denotes over the left but i need over this surface so click on the arrow mark to reverse the direction and you click on the surface over which you need to uh place it so i have clicked this surface now the plane has been moved here you can see that the orange color outline has been created which indicates the movement of the plane so the plane has been moved from that to that location to this the correct word will be it has been uh, duplicated the plane uh, now in the vertical direction we have two planes one during only the uh, previous one which is by default it is it will be present there now the second plane we have created so click ok you can see that the plane has been created this is the surface and this is the plane right now we have the 3d object and we have the plane now create a mirroring now we need to select a 3d object which we need to mirror click on the extrude one this uh, selects the whole 3d part uh, once uh, let us see now i, I have deselected it see the mirroring uh, option is not visible so whenever we uh, select a property one the mirroring option would appear so click on the extrude one now you can see that the mirroring option has been uh, opened click mirror 
now select a plane over which or by what reference we need to switch the mirror i need our uh, you can take this one as a reference i, I am telling the software so click this pin now you can see that the mirroring is complete the the plane which we created becomes the center of the uh, these two objects right this is how the basic mirroring works okay usually uh, usually the palette the palette consists of some of the predefined and uh, mostly is the uh, 2d surfaces in the engineering drawing for example the triangle pentagon hexagon octagon uh, like those objects can be present over the palette in order to open it click on the palette we will be seeing some uh, uh, dialog boxes now you can see that the three sided triangle four sided square five sided uh, uh, pentagon hexagon heptagon octagon nonagon decagon like that you will be finding some of the basic and the most uh, widely used shapes under the polygon tab uh, if you go to the shapes tab you will be seeing some of the uh, basic uh, shapes like arc trace back cross or will be round rectangle i like that if you go to the stars we can find a four tip star three tip star seven tip star eight tip star like that if you go under the profile you will see some of the basic profiles like i profile for i shaped glitter c profile and l profile t profile these uh, shapes will be mostly used under the uh, strength of materials point of view so uh, uh, for demonstration purpose, I am going to select the five seated pentagon. Uh, in order to take it, uh, the preview is being uh, description is being shown. Click the left mouse button to preview, and double click the left mouse button and drag and drop. So just uh, double click it uh, and drag and drop. Okay. Okay. Now the pentagon has been created. Uh, similarly, you can uh, select all those one. So click go close and click OK. Now we see that it has been created. We, now we can extrude the surface. See, pentagon has been created. Uh, this resembles the defense headquarters of the United States, right? This is how the palette works. Okay. This brings the end of the section. Don't forget to practice. And by the end of this uh, section, you will find the second and the final practice test. Don't forget to take it. Uh, it would be interesting, I'm sure. Don't forget to take it and practice well. From next section onwards, we would, we would use all the gathered knowledge in order to create. Uh, basic real world engineering invention engineering models and we will see how does it works basically it starts from the scratch so you don't need to worry you will see in the next session don't forget to practice practice is the key bye